quick video on how to do parental controls on your Apple TV. Go to settings, then go down to restrictions. I'm going to put in a password of four ones just to make it easier. And we're going to go down and we're going to block, restrict, or turn off every single item. And I'm going to show you why I'm not just making a fake video. I'm going to show you how this allows you to lock your Apple TV down completely. Okay. Now this last one, AirPlay settings, we're going to talk about that at the end. And I'll explain why I turned that off. The rest of are really personal preference. So I go to YouTube. I need to type in a password to get in, which is really good. However, you can put in your password as many times as you like. Keep that in mind. Next, I'm going to show you what it happens when you go into movies. If I try to look at the Shawshank Redemption, I can't buy it because I need the password. I can't preview it because I need the password. Same thing for TV shows. Better Call Saul, Ready to MA, can't buy it, need the password. Can't preview it, need the password. Now I'm going to show you with podcasts, same thing. Joe Rogan Experience, an explicit podcast, can't listen to it without the password. Now, we're going to talk about why we restricted AirPlay settings. Man in the High Castle, this is my phone. I'm trying to cast it to the TV. Click on the TV, and this is what pops up on my phone. It says it's unable. However, YouTube, there is an exception. I don't know why. You can turn off AirPlay settings. However, as I'll show you right here, it still allows me to cast to my TV from my phone on YouTube. Right here, it's playing that video that I just casted to the TV. Now another loophole is if I leave my TV on, you'll show me, it says turn TV off. That's a, a video of my screen turning back on. It still comes into the same app that you're on. So those are two loopholes to keep in mind. Other than that, you can lock down your Apple TV completely. Leave comments below, subscribe, Hope this helps.